I'm lucky to be part of this somewhere. I heard that you left the Philippines uh, at age four. Is that, is that correct? That's right. I moved to Vancouver when I was four. So you, uh, what did you remember um, going up here in the Philippines? What did you take with you uh, there in Canada? I remember my grandma. I remember she was always around. She was always very helpful. I think of a better word. Maybe she had a good heart. I think I took that. Uh, I, I also take that from her. I take a lot of the, the beautiful things of being with Is this what, what uh, I mean, um, is this what your dreams, uh, what your dreams like? I mean, growing up, you, you, uh, you joined a lot of competitions in competitions. What pushed you to um, go into the singing? What pushed me into I knew I wanted to sing the moment that I hit this stage for the first time because it was that feeling where I knew this is what I wanted to do. This is what I, what I want to do for the rest of my life. Can you remember the first competition that you did? The first you competition? Did the <laughs> Actually, it was a beauty pageant when I was younger. Yes, I did a beauty pageant at 16. See, before, before that, I did a lot of talent shows, and then the competitions came along. I was, I did the talent shows to prepare myself for the competition, but it was a beauty pageant that I first did, and then I did Pinar Pop Superstar. Mm -hmm. Jenny, uh, she is made Pinar Pop Superstar. I did that, and, and that was a good learning experience. I, yeah, that was definitely a good learning experience, especially because you know. Filipinos were also musical. So I took what I learned from that and then I moved it on to Canada and I did another um, American Idol kind of show similar to that and then one there and that's how I won my first record deal. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Self-titled album. Yes. Mm -hmm. The first album. The first album. Um, I, you know what? I think that all of the lyrics are very strong in this album. There's a song called Champion, and it goes a little like this. I sang it earlier, but I'm gonna sing it for you again. <laughs> Gloves on tight, swinging like a champion. Jab with a right, take it like a champion. Knock me down, get up like a champion. Pound for pound, like a champion, champion. And that was written for Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> so I feel like that is a strong song, and he's a perfect example of a strong Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> A long story short, I was in a uh, lawsuit with my old friend and so that means that I was put on a shelf for two years so my first two albums we were doing so well I, I released my first my singles and I was always on tour with Rihanna and Gaga and um, Nelly and Enrique Iglesias and my song hit number one on billboards and I was doing so well and then I had to stop because my old record company just, the, uh, it was just problems with my old record company, long story short. And then I learned that, you know, life, it, it throws punches at you and it's up to you to either stay down or get back up and, and that's what this song is all about. It's got a positive, yeah, very, yeah, I think I, I need a good decision to change record labels as well. I'm assigned to Universal Canada XOXO in Canada, and then now I'm kind of um, Zico Records here in the Philippines. Boss Vic has been amazing.